Atkins have partnered with the education charity Governors for Schools to provide 44 talented volunteers on school governing bodies by summer 2024. Specifically Atkins are working with primary schools, special educational needs schools, girls schools and schools in areas of deprivation to provide a line of sight into the engineering industry and raise aspirations of students and local communities. Atkins are proud to be the first engineering organisation to partner with Governors for Schools in what will be a complete industry strategy in how we approach inclusivity, social value and STEM strategy with schools. Traditional STEM delivery can be reactive, under-resourced and does not create long-term sustainable partnerships with schools. Our relationship with the Governors for Schools charity completely changes this by putting governors at the beating heart of school leadership teams acting as critical friends to the head teacher and driving a long-term programme of classroom enrichment with children. My Mother School is a real community school. We are here not just for pupils but for families. Our motto, Believe, Achieve, Succeed, is important to us because these children come from deprived backgrounds and we don't want them to feel that they will ever be at a disadvantage because of that. STEM is very important for us as a school because within the community there's a lot of gender stereotypical bias. What we're trying to do is raise the aspirations and ensure that they're going to be able to do anything. We want them to see examples of those roles that they're not going to usually be exposed to and have people who are in those roles here in school. It's quite early days with my role as a governor with my Samova. Today we've brought in four engineers from Atkins to work with STEM events with the children. I'm hoping to build on this then going forward and get in more events and put on a programme together over the next three to four years. My name's Ellie and I'm an engineer. Does anyone know where an engineer is? Yes. The aim of today was to show all the different year groups basic concepts of engineering and what engineers do to try and make the career path seem more feasible to them in the future. I think engineers build helicopters. I think an engineer builds toys. I think an engineer builds houses. I think an engineer brings us electricity from the wind and sun. First we build the sail. With nursing reception we tried to introduce them to lots of different engineering concepts so we looked at like, geotechnical engineering, structural engineering, some mechanical engineering and then with years one to four we tried to focus on renewable energy so they all got to make their own wind turbines and test them to make the most efficient designs. This is the very first time I've known that this has been done in a primary school. The earlier that you get these children engaged the better for them. They're actually thinking outside the box and exploring concepts that they wouldn't normally have experience of. Today's really set a lot of them off. The questions I've had this afternoon about engineering, about you know what I could do as an engineer, does that mean I can build things if I became an engineer? It's been lovely to see, lovely to hear and, and lovely to be a part of it really has. Are you going to take it home with you? Yeah, nice. I think it's really important to engage with young students and for young females to understand that engineering is a feasible career path for them. Hopefully they can learn these concepts at a young age, develop a passion for engineering, see that through a GCSE to A level and then become future engineers. If it gives one child in my class that spark today to go, I want to be an engineer, I want to go to university, I want to push myself, then what's happened today is brilliant. It gives those children that chance, that opportunity to understand that there is more out there to the world than just Morva. I became a governor so that I could give back to the community in which I live in. I particularly chose a school in a deprived area. I just wanted to do something different and try and link in the STEM activities that we do as an organisation. It works. And what does that mean now? We've got lots of electricity. 
The difference Atkins have made to me is providing me with support, training and the confidence to undertake that role. We've also set up a group of governors to support each other within Atkins itself. Anybody can be a governor, no matter how old you are, how young you are, or what your background or experience is. We've all got something to offer. There we go. Give it a give it a spin. See if it spins. Currently have engagement in other STEM activities. The ICE committee, already a STEM ambassador as well. After seeing today the impact that Craig has made, I would definitely put myself forward as a governor too. This wouldn't have happened if it hadn't been for Craig being a governor. Craig has made a huge difference so far and he hasn't been with us a relatively long time. So I look forward to what he eventually will be able to do over the next few years. Everybody's a winner here. We're really pleased.